my house is facing the avenue where it's happening. And Kimberly, do you know who lives in that home? No, we do not at this point. I know that a female owns that home, and she has been dating a couple of men that have been arguing and checking on her, stalking her. And we think it's maybe the boyfriend that comes and stays with her at nighttime. We understand you actually saw two Inglewood police officers being shot. Yes, I did. How did a female that... officer who looked like she was unconscious, they carried her over the shoulder, and a male officer who ran because he has a semi-automatic weapon or something and is shooting all through the neighborhood. I mean, he's shooting from the house. So shooting from the house. So you saw this person who's inside the home shooting outside of the home and hitting two officers, Kimberly, that's what you saw? You're exactly correct, Jessica. Okay. How, what exactly led to this? Did the officers pull up to the house uh, expecting trouble, or did they, uh, were they responding to some type of call, or what? Yes. Uh, the woman who is inside the house had a brother who was standing on the corner. He's the person we think contacted the police. He was screaming, get my sister out of the house. Get my sister out of the house. So her brother is the person, I believe, that let them know there's a domestic situation going on. And I don't know where the brother is at this point because they made all of us residents come in the house mm -hmm. because he's still alive and, sh and shooting. Kimberly, has there ever been trouble coming from this house before? Never. That's why we're so shocked as neighbors. Never. So you, have, uh, you actually have no idea what may have led to this uh, altercation? No, we don't. I believe it may be domestic. Like I said, I know she has an ex-husband and a boyfriend. So that's as much as I know about the female that lives there. And um, we take the whole situation from beginning to end. So. Mm. And Kimberly... The SWAT team right now mm. is going in. They are making the officers cover up. They have the SWAT... Uh, I don't know what to call it, a van or tank. You know, they have a SWAT tank, and they're looking like they're going into the residence and getting prepared to do that. The guy is hollering out of the house and threatening. He has not shot in about 10 minutes. Yeah, okay.